baby. Mm, give me one second to finish this email. You wouldn't believe just how swamped I've been with this project. Phone has been ringing off the hook. Plus, John thought it'd be a good idea to put the intern in the hot seat. Poor thing got lost and panicked. I spent 20 minutes trying to calm them. Uh, baby? Oh, I'm fine. It's just... You... And I'm putting this nicely. Look like shit. Are you sick? It's not allergies. It just rained. The pollen is gone. Come here, baby. Come here. Please. Let me feel your forehead. Would you quit being a child? Come here now. Oh, for the love of... <clears throat> Got you. Jesus. Your skin is on fire. How long have you felt like that? Two days? <sighs> Did you take any medicine? <sighs> of course. Allergies. Baby, you can't get a fever from allergies. No, you can't. Hay fever isn't really a fever. It's just... Uh, it doesn't matter. Look. The point is, you look like a small breeze could knock you over, and I bet you haven't done really anything to take care of this. So, guess I'm gonna need to step in. I know, but do you remember the great flu of 2018? If I recall correctly, someone made me take a week off of work. Even when I stopped showing symptoms. Yeah, you worried. I worry too. Especially when you're like this. Will you please just stop being stubborn and let me take care of you? Of course I want to. Jesus, baby, you've just got a cold, not the bubonic plague. Besides, if you're not feeling well, I want to try to help. That's what we do, right? Look after each other? So, come on. Sit down. Let me get you some medicine. Mm, tell me what hurts. Everything? Oh, my poor baby. Hey, easy. Why'd you jump? Babe, I'm not gonna get sick. And if I do, I'm sure you'll take care of me, won't you? <laughs> no. Ouch. Ah, <sighs> I think my heart is breaking. <laughs> Okay, easy. Deep breath. That cough sounds bad. How long have you had it? Yeah? Hmm. We'll just keep an eye on it. Now, here. Let's take your temperature. No, don't talk with it in your mouth. You'll mess up the reading. Just... Sit there. And go easy on the death glare, okay? One oh one. That's definitely a fever. All right. Let's get some meds in you and get you to bed. Here. Drink some water. You're probably dehydrated. I know you don't feel like it. That's what your feverish brain is tricking you into thinking. You feel cold, but that's only because your body can't regulate itself right now. 
So, water, meds, then bed. In that order. Good. Here. This should lower the fever. Come on, take it. You're such a little kid when you're sick. Yeah, you are. You're giving me puppy dog eyes, pretty much pleading with me not to make you take your meds. You must have been one bad patient as a kid. Hey. What is it? No, it's not nothing. You look like you're about to cry. You can talk to me, okay? About anything. What? Why would you think that? No, tell me. Hey, baby, why would you think you're a burden? Really? Well, fuck my brother. No, seriously, he has no right to say anything like that. Jesus, babe, you should have told me. Because I would have set him straight. Look, my brother is a piece of shit. This is why we've never gotten along. He was a jerk when we were kids, and he's only gotten worse with age. And if he said that shit to you? Well, next time I see him, I'll be sure to sock him. Yeah, I'm pissed. Baby, we can't choose our family. I get that. But you're my everything. If he wants to mess with you, then I'm not about to sit here and let him get away with that. I want to protect you, okay? Maybe it's stupid or outdated, but that's what I want. I want to give you the world. I want you to smile at me, like you do when you find a stray cat on our walks. <laughs> no, they're cute. It's just funny. Look, I love you. I'm not going anywhere. Whatever shit my brother said, it's not true. And deep down, I know you know that. So, come on, in the bed. There you are. Hmm? Bedtime stories are more your specialty, aren't they? <laughs> okay, okay. I guess I'll indulge you this once. What story do you want? A fairy tale? <laughs> You're adorable, baby. Okay. Let me just think for a second. Once upon a time, on the edge of a great forest, there lived a very poor woodcutter with his wife and his two children, Hansel and Gretel. Ah, they're asleep. Poor babe. Get some rest. I'll be here when you wake up.